What is up everybody? Context engineering, that is going to be the thing that I've personally learned throughout this app that I'm gonna show you here in a second that I've been building lately that I think is going to be the most important thing that developers and builders of apps, website services that need, need to focus on right now. And here's why. I've been building this app um, the past few weeks and within Cursor, and it's a YouTube analytics AI powered software. And the idea is you connect your account on YouTube, it will take in all of your analytics and your stats, and it's going to analyze them, and it's going to provide you with actionable feedback. This is not something new. There's a lot of people working on this sort of thing right now. And I'm trying to tackle it myself because if I can build it and I can make it help me with my own channel, trust me, there's many people struggling right now with algorithm changes and dropping views, uh, then I think other people would find value in it. So I started building this. And one thing that I realized very early on, especially as I got more into the development of this app, is that it is difficult to steer the response of the AI in a direction that is helpful and in a direction that I would prefer. And that is what context engineering is in a nutshell. It is the process of trying to guide and to put guardrails and to feed the appropriate data to the AIs and the LLMs that fits within the context window that will also provide good responses that make sense. You would think that this is kind of like easy because all you are is just interacting with an AI LLM kind of like when you're talking with ChatGPT. That's why when I first heard the term prompt engineering like two years ago, I'm like, what kind of ridiculous crap is this? Everybody's just trying to sound so important and technical. How technical could it be just to issue and talk with an AI, right? Well, it turns out, of course, prompt engineering is a little bit more simplistic in the idea that you're just dealing with the single prompt in and of itself right then and there. But context engineering that I found out is a little bit more complex. And so I think it is completely fitting to have this term and to also say that it's something you need to learn. You're not just going to figure this out as you go without having any type of understanding of how LLMs work and how the AIs work and process data. So let me show you um, an example of what context engineering actually kind of looks like from a raw data perspective. So here's the dashboard right here. Obviously it's not finished, this isn't even finished, but there's a chat over here that I have. And the chat, um, let me just say something like, what is my channel about? What is my channel about? All right. So I'm gonna show you the raw data here in a second, but in a second, it's going to respond. Right now it's uh, chatting with GPT, I believe. All right, so your channel, FitFunct, I have a bunch of different channels, by the way, not just Design Course. Focuses on fitness and health topics. The latest video, six weeks TRT, my experience so far, this is actually true. Um, suggests a uh, focus on personal fitness journeys and experiences with testosterone replacement therapy, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so if I click right here, I built this little debugger or rather I had the AI build the debugger for me. And it's not really a debugger, it's kind of like a context uh, data source. So you can see exactly what is happening with every message and also kind of just look uh, into the raw data of what's being passed into the context of the AI. So here's what the actual raw context payload that is sent to the model. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, we have an array and it's a messages array. And you can see right here, we have a role called system. And the system prompt is kind of uh, the context that, get, that gets passed in to every request within the chat context. Um, so right here it says, you are Naria, a, cons a concise, pragmatic YouTube strategy coach, if I could talk. Always ground recommendations in the user's goals, constraints in the spe specific channel context and latest stats. So when you make a suggestion, briefly explain why it matters. And if a user asks you to generate video titles or video ideas, respond with a brief acknowledgement, like working on that for you or let me generate some ideas. And if the user is not already on the planner page, do not simply redirect. Instead, include a short friendly sentence that provides a clickable link to the planner page. So as you can see, this system level prompt will be sent within every chat message 
that is you know responded or initiated on behalf of the user. Um, and then we have also this, uh, the channel is fit funked. So that's how it knows what the channel name is. There's a YouTube ID here. We have latest stats. There's not very much latest stats. All there is is just the latest video um, with the title, the eight views, one comment, okay, blah, blah, blah. Now, we could see also down here, we have the actual chat messages. So here's the user message content. What is my channel about? That's what I sent. And then the response is your channel, Fit Funked, of course, because it has that context up there, focuses on fitness and health, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's kind of what context engineering looks like. Now, if we scroll back up here, I'll show you another example of the power of context engineering. Um, so if a user asks you to generate video title, titles or video ideas, okay. So I, I can say literally right here, um, generate me some video, I, maybe I'll say video topics, just to show you that it's flexible, it's dynamic. I only mentioned video titles and video ideas in there in the context, uh, but it's gonna be smart enough to say, oh, it wants different video uh, ideas. And we've, I've routed this and I've set the, the, up the app so that if it does this, it's, it's going to give us a link to the video page and it will generate some titles. So generate me some video topics uh, that have to do with BMI and TRT. Okay, so I'll hit send. Let me scale this. I'm pretty zoomed up here. All right, I'll generate some video titles now. You can view and manage them in the video planner. All right, so let's click on it. All right, BMI versus TRT, which impacts fitness more? TRT impacts on BMI, okay. So that's actually pretty cool uh, because what it did is you can, you know, through context engineering, you can make real world things happen in your app. You can connect it uh, to databases and store information. This is all stored in a database. And what's even cooler is if I give a similar um, video topic suggestion, like generate some more titles or video ideas. Watch what happens here. We can even make this I, the UI interact with our specific request because we asked it to do something that is tied to that action, which will make the page refresh. So that is the, con that is the concept of what context engineering is. And you also have something called the context window. You only have a max amount of memory or tokens that are associated with these models. And so it becomes a little bit more complex once that context window fills up. As you can see, it's only at 1% right here because this is a new chat and you know I just connected this channel. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on myself to get really good at the concept of context engineering because the future of apps they're going to be fueled by AI. Not every app, but many of them, because many apps can benefit from the utility of AI. And context engineering is the most important and crucial aspect of creating apps that give real value to users. And so that's why, like I said, I'm gonna be focusing on that and really learning a lot more on this channel um, so that I can also teach it as I go. So anyhow, I just wanted to make a, a, a video topic on that. I created an X community on context engineering. I'm gonna link that here. Please join because I think you know we're all better when we share ideas and tips and we discuss ideas so that we can learn from each other. So anyhow, I'm excited about this app. I am definitely going to make it work. There's a lot of moving parts. So I'm excited to also share the progress with you as well. So I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.